throughout my six years on the school board of Miami-Dade County, I witnessed firsthand the frustration created by Carlos Jimenez's refusal to work alongside the school district, municipalities, and other agencies. A sharp contrast to my tenure on the school board, which has been marked by unprecedented partnerships with municipalities, agencies, and the private industry. Over the past six years, these partnerships and hard work have made Miami-Dade County Public Schools the number one urban school district in the United States. This success is a direct result of innovative thinking, cooperation, and an emphasis on fiscal responsibility. Over the past years, as I visited with elected officials and stakeholders throughout Miami-Dade, I found that my experience was not unique, but rather that the present mayor has systematically alienated and ignored the needs of municipalities, agencies, and stakeholders. Time and time again, elected officials told me how they felt abandoned by the present administration how they and their constituents have been forgotten by Jimenez, who failed to keep the promises he made to win their support six years ago, and only shows up to take pictures, cut ribbons, and take credit. As a former chief of staff of a city commissioner and daughter of a municipal mayor, I understand that from traffic lights to sewer infrastructure needs, our mayors and commissioners stand at the front line, serving our residents and advocating for their interests at County Hall. Presently, however, they stand alone because of the adversarial relationship that has been created by Carlos Jimenez, who believes that municipal problems are simply not his problem. As a result, our government works in silos, often duplicating resources at the expense of our residents. Meanwhile, at County Hall, Jimenez makes decisions without informing, let alone consulting the 34 municipalities in Miami-Dade. From FDOT project to Durham to WASA permitting, our local elected officials and their staff find themselves held up by the red tape and lack of leadership that currently defines County Hall. As your Miami-Dade County Mayor, I will put an end to this dysfunction and work with, not against the town, cities, and villages, as well as the Miami-Dade County School Board, so that policy, development, and infrastructure improvements are not in competition with each other, but rather complementary to each other. As your mayor, I commit to having monthly meetings with every mayor of Miami-Dade to discuss issues and projects of mutual interest and to better serve the residents of these municipalities because the residents of municipalities are also the residents of Miami-Dade County. As your mayor, I know that our strength is in our numbers and we will be stronger when we work together. We will be successful when we forge a united agenda, one that will attract businesses to Miami-Dade one that will bring home the state and federal dollars that we need, and one that will elevate the quality of life of every resident of Miami-Dade County. Less than 10% of residents vote in the county mayoral election. They live in municipalities and believe that who the mayor of Miami-Dade County is does not impact them. If you live in Miami-Dade County, please visit RaquelRegalado.com to learn how the lack of leadership at Miami-Dade is impacting your quality of life. Thank you for helping me change Miami-Dade County.